my question is today um it's around being present and we're we always try to be present and be available mm -hmm. for others but my question is how often do you allow yourself to be present for your own self mm -hmm. and i'm not saying physically present like we have many people here um who joined live and physically they are here but mentally and emotionally my question is where are you are you mm -hmm. here or are you somewhere else are you uh uh trapped in thoughts about things you have to do or people you have to um, help or do anything for or are you worried about something that already happened so basically i would like for us to just allow ourselves to take these less than 10 minutes and to be present and focus on our breathing on our activity for today uh, with joe and see how we feel Mm -hmm. So, um, I know, again, breath work is not for everyone, but um, let's just take a moment, like really a moment, close our eyes, maybe place our hands on our chests, on our hearts, and take a deep breath in, and a complete breath out. And set an intention. What do we need today just one word um and if you feel comfortable you can share it in the chat and for me today it's about being present wherever i am i just want to feel i'm present even here in this unfamiliar place for me like it's familiar but i'm not used to um recording anything from here, but I'm trying to be present. Take another deep breath and sigh it out. Open your eyes and we're ready. Joe. Nice. Okay. Well, this activity won't take very long either, but it's a activity that I do in my um, Becoming Consciously Creative course. Actually, I don't think I do. <laughs> I might have just told a little fib. Um, it's an activity that- It's I've okay, you're allowed. Some, I'm allowed. Um, it's an activity that I've done personally for myself and I encourage others to do it when, when I just need to get out of my head and do something mindful, but also creative at the same time. So with your, with your pencil or whatever, I'm just gonna say pencil, but it's really what, whatever you have. I want you to draw a dot somewhere on your page doesn't matter where i mean ideally somewhere around the middle but we're not we're not needing to be precise about this at all so just draw a little dot just like that and i don't want you to see what i'm doing because i don't want it to influence what what you're doing but basically we're going to draw concentric blobs and i say blobs because there's a lot of weight around the term circle about being cir perfect circles and you know nice and round so we're just gonna draw loose concentric blobs around this dot. So, you know, starting going around the dot and then increasing the size of the blob. And I want you to really just observe what it is you're doing. Look at your, your drawing tool, look at the line, the mark you're making, experiment with where you're holding your, your pencil mm -hmm. or your drawing tool, because the further back you hold it from the the tip the looser it will be and your lines will be a little bit squiggly and you can observe that the closer you are to the tip the more control you'll have and the more accurate your lines will be so just experiment with that and be observant so really mm -hmm. look at the lines and the marks that you're making and just pour your awareness into those lines and let yourself be present as you create these concentric blobs so let's just quiet our minds and do this for a few moments together. You don't need to rush this process. You can follow your breath. And we're just drawing concentric blobs around the dot on our page. So you should be starting to 
look something like this on your page. And we're just going to keep going until these blobs spill over the edges of our page. Follow your breath if you need to slow down. And change where on your change where on your page you start your line. You're always starting it in the top left. Try starting it in the bottom right. And experiment with going clockwise or counterclockwise. And again, holding your pencil or your pen further back to really loosen up those lines. It's okay if they crisscross, if they get wiggly. This is just all about being present and observing the mark that you're making on the paper, following your breath. Keep going. Should be something like this now. And we're just trying to empty our minds, follow the lines, experiment with holding your pencil in different ways, and following your breath. Okay, just finish the line that you're working on and we'll come back to each other. <sighs> so this is what my page ended up looking like. Lots of squiggly lines, nothing mm -hmm. perfect about it. Some of them are touching, some of them are overlapping, some of them have big gaps. If I wanted to keep going with this exercise, I could completely fill the page until the lines are falling off but I could also come back and fill the gaps with different colors or different different patterns or details to continue on with this mindful practice um, but I want to ask you how how did that feel was it uncomfortable being still and just tuning into the lines that you were making were you able to empty your mind and be present um, if you want to share in the chat how you felt during this exercise, I'd love to see your comments. Mm -hmm. Mine looks like this. Okay, nice. And I tried to experiment with this, but it wasn't a good idea. I tried using my left hand. Mm. And I realized That's that a great idea. I started like holding my breath. Like, yes. And then I thought, no, that's not working. <laughs> that yeah. defeats the purpose. Yeah, exactly. it does. So, yeah, it does. Yeah, but I was aware enough to catch it. Mm -hmm. And that's like the awareness is, is a huge part in being present, right? It is being yeah. aware. And being present doesn't necessarily have to mean your mind is void of any thoughts. It's just being aware of those thoughts and being aware of your breath and being aware of, you know, where yeah. your mind, body, and energy are in any given moment. So exactly yeah good Ron, do you have a final yeah. question for us as we wrap up our 10 minutes yeah uh, you know i just wanted to say one last thing 
based on what you just commented, Joe, it's like mm -hmm. to learn to be the observer and, and it's like, we hear it a lot in Buddhism, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. um, it's, you are the ob observer and the object that's being observed. Yes. And we are both like we're observing our thoughts, but we ourselves are the observers mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just wanted to um, ask, what will you be taking with you today? I, I know it's a short session and maybe you need more time to think about it, but uh, any thoughts that come to mind um, from just taking a moment to mm -hmm. breathe and do this activity? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Rhonda. Thank you to those of you and who joined. You joined. And if you're watching the replay, we'd love to have feedback um, from you in the comments or you can send us a DM. And we're open always to hearing um, if you have any requests of things that you'd like yes. us to address in future wellness breaks. Um, yeah, I like please, that. Give please myself please short. Let us know. Yeah, yeah short Joe, moments. There's one Joe. comment. Yeah, 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 exactly. I think it's we put a lot of those tiny pressure. moments. Yeah, we yeah. put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be all Zen all the time. And it's not about that. Like you can just take these little breaks, which is the whole reason we're doing these once a week. Um, yeah. Take these little breaks and then maybe you'll get into the habit of taking breaks for yourself throughout the day and throughout the week. So yeah, we're happy that you joined us and um, wishing you a beautiful rest of your day. And I'll get the Absolutely. replay up shortly so you can watch it again and again whenever you need to. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You, Rhonda. Thanks, Thanks, everybody. Bye for now. Bye.